Hey everyone, what's crack like and my name's Amel and you're watching Newsbreak. World leaders have gathered in Egypt for COP27, the UN's climate conference. Elijah explains what it's all about. So I'm new to law enforcement, but when I heard about this whole COP convention thing, I was like, I gotta be there and I gotta commit myself and, and prove to, to my chief I'm not gammon. So I know what I'm doing and I'm keen as. Oh, hold up. I'm in the wrong room. Yeah, while it's called COP, it's nothing to do with the police. The UN's Conference of the Parties, or COP, is a big annual meeting for world leaders to talk all things climate. This year is the 27th meeting and leaders will be working out how exactly they'll fulfil their promises from last year's COP26 meeting in Glasgow, where many countries committed to net zero emissions by 2050. Friends, today a new era begins and we begin to do things differently. This year, there's been a lot of severe weather events, including floods, droughts, fires, you name it. And leaders will discuss whether wealthy nations should offer financial support to poorer nations affected by climate change. But many people around the world are frustrated more hasn't been done already. Protests are always important, but especially at COPS, because this is where world leaders and people in power gather to discuss the fate of humanity and the world in itself. And there's high expectations for Australia. The new Albanese government has announced more ambitious climate targets than last year, but the PM isn't actually there. Instead, the Minister for the Pacific, Pat Conroy, is taking his place and will be bidding to have COP hosted in Australia in 2026. But still, it won't have anything to do with the police. Shame job. Forbes is starting to clean up after severe flooding hit the town over the weekend. Water levels are dropping, but hundreds of homes and businesses have been affected and schools there are closed. Twitter's going to start charging people for that blue tick. Until this point, the tick meant Twitter had confirmed the account actually belonged to the person or company claiming it, basically as a way to stop people impersonating celebrities or organisations. But now it's being offered for around $12 a month as part of a subscription service. It comes just a week after billionaire Elon Musk took over the company. It's been an action-packed weekend of sport. Here's Justina. Australia's Gillaroos have smashed France at the Women's Rugby League World Cup. They defeated France 92 to 0, setting a new World Cup record. They've now sealed a place in the semi-finals, with one group match still to go against New Zealand on Friday. Let's head to the AFLW Finals. Collingwood have defeated the Western Bulldogs by five points in their elimination final. The Bulldogs nearly made a comeback in the third quarter, but the Magpies held on to win 40 to 35, setting up a semi-final clash next weekend against Adelaide. The Roos won the other elimination final, defeating the Cats by just two points. Australia have been knocked out of the T20 World Cup. The Aussies needed to finish top two in their group to make it through to the semis. But after England defeated Sri Lanka at the SCG on Saturday night, Australia were stuck in third and out of the tournament. I bet you didn't see me, but don't worry. For these next stories, you really can't miss it. Unlike me. You're looking at 16 metres of jolliness and fibreglass coming together. For the first time since 2018, Giant Santa is now back on display at the Adelaide Central Markets. But it almost didn't happen. The man in red needed some serious renos and was going to be thrown away. Until media personality Andrew Cosi Costello bought him for $2 and organised a massive fundraiser to restore and house the Christmas icon. Lesson one in reporter school, never lose your focus. This Chilean journalist was speaking during a live broadcast when a parrot joined him. That's fine, just ignore it. Well, that is until this happened. After a few failed attempts to get it back, the parrot apparently dropped it. Well. That's good. <laughs> Poor reporter. Well, I gotta go now and... Oh, it was working so well. See ya.